church and anyone else that might be listening to this video. It's great to see you. Well done for pausing. I hope this blesses you in some way and encourages you in some way. Now, in my last sermon, I spoke about the hope we have in Jesus and that we are called to live in the reality of that hope. And like anyone who writes a talk or a sermon or a preach, I prepared way too much. And so I thought I'd use this pause video as an extension of that sermon and give you a few more quick tips of how we can live in the reality of the hope we have in Jesus, how we can share it with other people. The second reading we heard on that Sunday was from 1 Peter 1, and it says this, So then, prepare your hearts and minds for action. Stay alert and fix your hope firmly on the marvellous grace that is coming to you. Now the second part of that can be translated as stay alert and share the joy, the hope that you have in Jesus with people around you. So how do we live in the reality of the hope we have in Jesus? Well, firstly, as the first part of the verse says, we are called to prepare our hearts and minds. This is a lifelong thing, not just like a week's, week's course. Actually, it's something we do every day for all of our lives. Prepare our hearts and minds. How do we do it? Well, it's quite simple. We pray. We spend time with Jesus. We can do it on our own or we can do it with other people. It's good to do both of those things. But spend time with Jesus, being reminded of the great hope you have in him. Secondly, read his word, the Bible. Let it impact and affect your life. Don't just read it because you have to read it, but read it because you want to be reminded of the hope that you have in Jesus. It's a great hope and the more you read the Bible, the more you understand how amazing Jesus is. And finally, we prepare our hearts and minds by encouraging one another. If you are struggling to find hope, find somebody else who you know is a follower of Jesus and ask them to spend time with you, praying for you, reading the Bible with you, and encouraging you and reminding you of the hope that you have in Jesus. If you see someone else who is struggling to see hope or is looking hopeless, get alongside them and remind them of the hope they have in Jesus. Remind them of how God was faithful to them in the past, how God is faithful to them now and how he will be faithful to them in the future. The second part of the verse says to stay alert and to share the hope we have in Jesus. And here's five quick tips of how you can do that. Firstly, have an attitude of love. Don't be quick to judge, don't be quick to get angry or impatient, be quick to love people. If you see someone that needs hope, it's quite simple. Get alongside them, love them, care for them, and look for an opportunity to share the hope you have in Jesus with them. And that's the second one. Share your experience of the hope you have in Jesus. Don't share clever arguments you've heard from somebody else who's super intelligent and has read the Bible loads. No, share your truth, share your story of how Jesus has been with you all through your life, through the good times and the bad times. That's what people will want to hear. Share your own personal experience of the hope you have in Jesus. Number three, be humble. Walk in humility. Don't think of yourself as better than somebody else because you know Jesus. You only know Jesus because he loved you, because of his grace towards you. So don't think of yourself as better than somebody else. Walk in humility and put other people before yourself. Think of others before you think of yourself. Four, be enthusiastic. Be joyful, be excited. When you're sharing about the hope you have in Jesus, do it with enthusiasm. Now it doesn't always mean, obviously if someone's going through some kind of trauma, you're not gonna be like really joyful all the time, but actually you can be enthusiastic about how God has been with you when you have faced difficult times. Be authentic, be believable. And finally, pray with them if they're okay with that, and pray for them. Ask God to give them hope. Ask God to open their eyes to the hope 
that they can have in Jesus and ask God to give you opportunities to share your hope with them. Thank you so much for listening. Go and be reminded of the hope you have in Jesus. Prepare your hearts and minds, stay alert and share it with other people whenever you get the opportunity. Take care. Bye.